coming up on Game Ball College Kickoff, we're going to break down the halftime score between Kansas Wesleyan University and Bethany College live at Lindsboro, Kansas. It's rivalry week, so stay tuned right here. Game Ball College Kickoff and it starts now. What's happening, everyone? Welcome to the Game Ball College Kickoff, where the football season never ends. I'm your host, Michael Riley, and this is what we're going to do. We're going to talk about the halftime score between Kansas Wesleyan University and their arch rival, Bethany College, right here, live from Lindsboro, Kansas. My brothers couldn't be here and make their trip with me, so I'm going to hold it down. I got y'all back, so look out for the next podcast episodes, and also look out for the Game Ball College Kickoff Game Day podcast episode episodes as well. They'll be on the show too. The score right now is Kansas Wesleyan 35, Bethany College 24. It's been a tense first half. Team's been going back and forth. Bethany College is in this game. They just got stop kicking themselves on the foot defensively they got to do a better job of shutting out Kansas Wesleyan offense they was there at some parts of the game but towards in the second half they gave up two critical touchdowns for Kansas Wesleyan to get back in this game after being up by four at one point and they score another touchdown to make this 11 point game so if they can fix the issues on defense and come out swinging and firing and stop Kansas Wesleyan high power offers from scoring they'll have the chance to win this game. This is the game to have. They have nothing to play for right now. They're one and three. They're at home. It's rivalry week. It's a lot of emotions going on. They have to calm down and check their emotions for a little bit, and they got to get back to this game. Offensively, they're doing a good job in the past game attacking Kansas Wesleyan cornerbacks. Now, they getting big plays going down the stretch. They got to learn how to finish drives for touchdowns at the end. At first point, they missed the field goal, but they capitalized on two, three other touchdowns as well. Then they capitalized on the field goal. So if the offense can click more and get the running game going, the passing game is playing phenomenal. But the running game has to get going and get better. If they can click offense, defense, and special teams, they'd be able to win this game. For Kansas Wesleyan, you got to not let Bethany College in this game. They're playing smash mouth physical football. They're attacking the point. They're putting hits on the quarterback of Kansas Wesleyan. They got to get it going. They got to stop fooling around and they have to get the juice going in the second half to make the score a lot around it to end this game. Now for Kansas Wesleyan defense, what they have to do is stop the passing game and stop giving up big plays. Force them to run and force them to third long situation. They're giving up jump ball touchdowns. They already gave up three touchdowns to one player on Bethany College and gave up a field goal. So they cannot afford to make this game close. If they make this game close and let Bethany College hang around, then you can see an upset win right here at Bethany College. So what Kansas Wesleyan has to do on defense, they have to adjust bring some more blitzes, bring some gap blitzes, bring some safety blitzes and some corner blitzes as well to cost the offense off guard, especially the quarterback, because the quarterback of Bethany College is having too much time in the pocket. He's throwing a one-on-one matchups and winning jump balls. So what does Kansas Wesleyan have to do? That secondary has to step up and stop the receivers. They have to be more physical and bring safety up top. You can't play man coverage and not expect help. You're going to get beat every time. So double team the receiver and force the quarterback to go elsewhere in the passing game. And those are my intakes for the second half. So 
the team that controls the ball the second half and makes less mistakes and causes less turnovers is going to win this game. Right now, Bethany College is in this game. They just keep finding ways to shoot themselves in the foot, and they need to stop, especially with unnecessary penalties. That's been hurting them. They had a three and out, then gave up a big penalty, which resulted to a first down. They're in this game. They just got to shoot, them, stop shooting themselves in the foot with penalties. Now, for Kansas Wesley, they need to stop giving up plays, especially on defense. And also, penalties has hurt them more than it's hurt Bethany College. They're giving up 15 yard penalties. That has to stop. They learn how to control their emotions. It's a big rivalry game, it's a lot of tensity going on. They just got to check themselves and get back to playing. Kansas Wesley football. If they can do that, they can open the lead wide open and end this game quickly. So in the second half, like I'm referring to, the team with the least amount of stakes, the least amount of penalized, will win the game and also will have the ball last, will win the game. I'm Michael Riley. This is Game Ball College Kickoff Halftime. You can follow us on all social media outlets. Facebook, Game Ball College Kickoff slash Game Ball NFL and so you can follow us on Twitter at GCK underscore GNFL League. You can follow your boy, all capitalized, at Game Ball underscore Mike. You can follow Marcus at Jovel ENT. You can also follow Luke Harnett too on Twitter. That's Luke Harnett too, folks, on Twitter. You can email us at gck.gnfle at gmail.com. Follow us on Instagram at gck underscore gnfle. Get your merchandise, your gear on our website at tokendesignstopeka.com. That's T-O-K-A-N, not token. That's token, not toucan. Designstopeka.com slash gameball. Get on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button. Follow us on our YouTube channel. Give us a thumbs up, thumbs down. Hit that like button if you like it. If you don't, that's all right. At gck.gnfle TV, that's our YouTube channel. I am Michael Riley. I will be back here on the post game interview show if we can get some interviews. Whoever wins this game. So let's get to it. Second half from Lindsboro, Kansas. This is Kansas Wesleyan versus Bethany College right here on Game Ball College Kickoff where the football season never ends. See you in the end of the game for the post game show and have a good one.
happening, everyone? Welcome to the Game Ball College Kickoff Post Game Show, where the football season never ends. I'm your host, Michael Riley. I'm gonna break down the final scores of the game for each team. So let's get to it. In this rivalry game, the score was Kansas Wesleyan University seventy, Bethany College twenty-four. It got ugly in the second half for Bethany College. I mean, as I was alluding to in the first half, they let the big place open for touchdowns and yards. They didn't stop the other team's offense like they should, and they let the emotions get the best of them, which was resulting to a lot of penalties, personal foul penalties. That's unheard of. There's a lot of penalties going on left and right. That shows the team was undisciplined in the first, second half. They let the moments get to them. They're young, and overall, they just didn't have it. Kansas Wesleyan destroyed Bethany College in the second half, was putting up numbers like what none, run touchdowns, pass touchdowns, you name it. They just made more plays, and it showed that the veteran team was there in the second half. First half, uh, Kansas Wesleyan wasn't really there. They were really themselves, even though they had a level point lead. It was close at one point. But in the second half, after they scored the first touchdown of the game, it was all she wrote for Kansas Wesleyan. Offense was clicking on all cylinders, and they converted fourth and long for touchdowns. That is unbelievably coach and legally gutsy not coach but gutsy to go for fourth and 10 fourth and 15 and fourth and 20 for touchdowns wow that's really sticking it to your rival's face like you know you're not playing they be business i mean kansas wesleyan is one of the most disciplined teams in this conference Offense, defense, special teams you name it they showed it well and the score results itself and for Bethany, it was just overall a piss poor performance in the second half. There was no swagger, and the team just fell flat. I mean, they didn't show no emotion, they didn't show no energy, and it showed at the end you did get beat and you did get blown out. So it's time to go back in the drawing board for Bethany, and just you got to look at yourself in the mirror going forward like, what can we do? to get win number two of the season. You had them on their heels in the first half. Then you let it get away, but you were still down by 11 points. Then the second half, Kansas Wesleyan just straight smacked you in the mouth and straight ran all over you and laughed at you in the face. So if I'm the coach, uh, it's going to be hell week and practice coming up next this upcoming week, I mean, I'm not letting nobody slide because this is another 70-point that they gave up to another team. The first season they gave up 70 points to Benedict College. Now Kansas Wesleyan University, another 70 points. This does not look good going forward. They got a lot of work to do. X and O's, offense, defense, and special teams. Everybody has work to do from the head coach to the coaching staff and to the players. They got to get it going. They got to find a way to control their emotions and be discipline because if you're not disciplined chances are you're going to get beat down like this and for Kansas Wesleyan they're 5 and 0 and for Bethany College 1 and 4 it's just terrible it's a terrible thing for Bethany College to go through it's going to be a long season for them if they don't get it turn around and for Kansas Wesleyan, they just keep rolling, keep trucking, and win is what they do. Win is their game. And in this Kansas Collegiate Athletic Conference, they are the team to be reckoned with right now. I mean, they're playing on all cylinders. They're clicking, and it shows that they're putting up points. And defensively, they're making good enough stops to get the offense forced three and out and get their offense back into the ball. So there you have it. And more likely, I'm not going to get an interview with the coach. And I don't blame him if he doesn't want to interview. So I'm going to wrap this up with my final thought. Going forward, Bethany College has to find something offensively and defensively to where – they can actually do something and start winning games. This season is not out of reach yet, but it's going to if they lose another game. I mean, one and four, yeah, 
it sucks, but they can still try to turn the season around going on the winning streak, and hopefully they can finish a decent winning streak. And for Kansas Wesleyan, they just keep on trucking and just keep on putting up points. This team is for real. They put up 50 points in the first four weeks of the season. I'm just like, wow. Not first four weeks, first five weeks of the college season. It's just unbelievable how they're doing it. They're just going from defense, offense. It's just remarkable you could tell they are well coached they coach the smallest details and it shows why they put a point on the board it fourth down whatever they still going to go for it and they converted for touchdown after touchdown so congratulations to kansas western university for win number five and it's going to be a dreadful season for bethany college as losing number four so they're one and four and Kansas Western University is 5 and 0 going forward. So until then, I am Michael Riley signing off. Be sure to follow us on all social media Facebook at Gameball College Kickoff slash Gameball NFL and so Send us an email at gck.gnfle at gmail.com. Follow us on Twitter. Follow your boy at Gameball, all capitalized, underscore Mike, N-Y-K-E. You can follow us on our official Twitter page at gck. Dot G, excuse me, GCK underscore GNFLE. You can follow Luke at Luke Hartnett 2. That's two, folks, on, on Twitter. You can follow Marcus at Jovel ENT. You can also follow us on Instagram at GCK underscore GNFLE. Get on your line and get your gear at our clothing line website at tokendesignstopeka.com. That's T O K A N token not token designs to pick a dot com slash game ball get on youtube hit that subscribe button my right to your left you relate to my right vice versa at gck dot gnfle tv hit a thumbs up hit a thumbs down hit a like if dislike if you don't like it like if you like it whatever get on youtube thank you for continuing to show us support since day one without you guys support this would not be possible. So thank you, everybody, from support. And the brothers will be back soon on the podcast episode. I'm Michael Riley. This is Game Ball College Kickoff, where the football season never ends. Peace. We are out and have a safe, blessed night. One love, y'all.